Very, very good chance to practice maybe in Siena on, on veteran. Time for a flamethrower, and it is not yet. It is now. Uh, no, 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 no. Still in the deep. I need to find a good time where there's enemies far away from me, and they're not gonna get close anytime soon. Maybe held off by my allies. That was a pretty cool idea, and actually, Sienna didn't charge, like just made the line like that, like the fire line. Hmm. They saved the wine bottle. In Warhammer. Nice. And I don't think you'd have the time or mood to drink wine in Warhammer universe. Like, given how things are. Must be super chill. Do that. It also must suffer a lot. Like it's some vintage. It's vintage also. So it's like from somewhere during the times of well, not so aggressive violent Warhammer times. Another bottle. Oh, perfect. Watch the HP go. You know, I could ideally just save the flamethrower for bosses because it does, it's like super effective. You know, and in other all other instances, just melee, because you're on the move and there's so many. And by the time you stand there and charge and do that, uh, like maybe mm, if an opportunity does show up, lack the range though. Maybe this chaos warrior. No, not this chaos warrior. Surely not. Why do I start healing all of a sudden? Oh, and finally, we matched make it. We, we, we match, we matched. Matched. Yeah. I was gonna say match moken, it's like, what? This is not even language, man. Match made. Match made. But now we unmatch made. Match made. And it's the gargoyle's part. Let's do this. So yeah, we're a lot of white HP, let's use this. Didn't do anything. Uh, maybe it's healing it over time, slowly. I don't, I don't. The gargoyle's part of the, this level is coming up real fast. And I feel like I'm unprepared. So unprepared. I could use this to give them a dot, like when it's a big group, not just like a 1-2 kind of enemies. Yeah, and then just go with Makes it easier for me, like, to do damage with the I think the dot applies, to my knowledge. I'll be back. 
Okay, okay, fine. That's a trap. There we go, okay, that worked out. By coincidence. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Like, without the charge. Just flame flower no more. Like that. Sword, sword, sword. Get HP. Which I still don't know how to convert to green. But, it, oh well. Yeah, that's nicer actually. Yeah, I feel like I'm actually using Sienna with a little bit more use. Like, you know, it's a. Uh, it, it flows a little bit better. The, the, the big flamethrower, um, kind of like fireball sort of thing, or continuous stream, is so nice, but getting the lead, so rough. Two hits and I'm down. That kind of like gives a mix of both. Get some magic damage in, fire damage, and get some sword damage, you know, block stuff like that. That uh, kills him long ago. Hey, I like this playstyle even. Nice. And leave the charge stream for bosses. Or super big hordes. Assuming we'll finish this level, not die. Assuming. Okay. But for some reason, sometimes when you just by coincidence try some way to play um, a class, a character, you know, whatever game you're playing, and things just keep flowing, there's some good to that playstyle. Like, it's, there's some right there. Well, like, for that class. It's for quick, quick situations. Like just as Barden's arrow is good for like taking on the you know the ones that like strangle you and the, uh, the blight stormers and you know all these like they can mess you up real bad. <laughs> Let's say that for the team. Martin's crossbow is superior for that, really. I think really too, but like if there's if it's not crossbow from Canadian, it's from me. Like now. Like I don't know why, but uh, Barden's bow feels kind of heavy with the aim, which is like a lot of my style. Like it just feels like it's uh it's um, it's it's heavier to aim. Like Carillion's one just feels super light and it's it's, it's odd. Because it's a crossbow in the boat, but still.
Okay, what? Scaldo. Okay. Thing. There we go. Fire to activate the fire barrel. Yeah. Of the gargoyle part. It's just down there. There's foul magic on the air down here, darlings. Heal us, Elixir! A drop of this will help me along. Good to go. Here's the rough part. Good thing bots will stay on you and move with you. So if I like find a good position where we can huddle, kind of not get cornered, but sway huddle so we don't get flanked big time or surrounded, which happens all the time, we may be able to finish this. May, possibly, may be. In the off chance that we possibly may be able to finish this, it's like you know. Percent on percent on percent on percent. That heavy tread, arrogance and heavy step. It's a chaos warrior. Shake that armor. There we go. This is the mess that usually happens. But this time, let's go inside. Let's not get cornered. Let's go in. Gargoyle heads I know downstairs. Somehow I have to find the way. Oh, and one up here. Okay. Yeah, downstairs there. Two. Okay, let's go. Can someone pick this up, please?
Okay, those are the only two here. And then there's the one left that's on the top platform, somewhere inside. Gonna find it, gonna find it. As long as I have some defense. Defense, okay. Sorry, Kruber. I have to go. Gotta go. No. Who needs to be? Yo. No. Yeah, we're gonna have to uh, go go on without Kruber, valiant fighter, but we'll get his reward as we finish as well. See, we escaped. Nice. This is the. We have to get to the Bridge of Shadows. There it is. Victory. On the recruit. No, oh, veteran, on veteran. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not taking this. Yeah. Can't, can't touch me in the Bridge of Shadows. And I learned a little bit of how to play with Sienna in, in close combat. Uh, I can just go straight up close combat, like slashing like that with defense and, you know, that knockback. Or I could use the flamethrower um, once, you know, that one time, like, left click flamethrower, let's call it that. Get a little dot, some damage, makes, you know, my, my left click slash is a little bit nicer. Not so soft and weak. And, uh, yeah, I didn't find any opportunity, like, where I could stand and, you know, aim and, uh, wow, okay. This must be in the right track, somehow. I mean, it felt right when I was playing it, like I was surviving and like... You know? It's like more reactive for close quarters combat, where you need to be reactive. And the other one, I think I'm just gonna save it for now until I get better with Sienna for bosses. Like, yeah, when, when it's bosses and, you know, someone else has aggro and attention, I can just... Sweet. Well, that was nice. Let's uh, end it on that ni nice note here, where we got 400 kills, which I haven't gotten yet in uh, um, in Warhammer Vermintide at all, like with any other character up till now. And it's kind of why I wanted to play Sienna too, because I wanted to get higher kills. So I did it. So. Sweet. And yeah. That was super nice and super enjoyable right at the end when I learned that new little technique thingy. Idea. Turned into a technique. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Super fun for me. See you guys on the next one.